guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how to do this super cute finding Dory nail art just in time for the movie's premiere so to start you're going to use a whole bunch of different colors of acrylic paints I always use acrylic paint when I do detailed work because it's just a lot easier to work with than nail polish I started with two coats of blue polish and I added a top coat on top because fixing acrylic paint when you have a top coat on is going to be a lot easier later on I'll show you because I mess up a couple of times so you want to start by drawing these purple little coral, these aren't coral, reef, whatever these are. They're just from the background of the picture I was drawing. They're just little purple bumps, um, kind of misshapen, uneven. And then I'm just filling them in with some acrylic paint. This brush, by the way, is a Winstonia Kolinsky 000. I use it all the time and I have a coupon code in my description box if you guys want to check these out. They're my favorite brushes. and. I, I couldn't do any of my nail art without them. Now I'm going to draw the coral with some pink acrylic paint. It's mixed in with a little bit of purple because the pink I originally had was kind of more of a hot pink and I wanted it to be a little more toned down. These are not very complicated. They're kind of just like messy wise shapes. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some purple paint just to add some shading into these whatever kind of bumps these are I still don't know just to give it a little bit more dimension and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the coral again just to give it some detail and just to give it some dimension then I'm going to go ahead and start drawing Dory now I know that drawing small detailed work is really intimidating but Dory's body is not a very complicated outline and the detail inside the body is not that detailed either if that makes any sense you'll see later but I'm just taking that same brush and outlining with some dark blue acrylic paint just kind of doing little strokes at a time just to get my lines a little bit even and then as you'll see I fixed the bottom part because I realized it's a little too narrow this is what I love about acrylic paint, it is so easy to fix your mistakes. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a size 0 brush to fill it in. I like to use this one when I have a little bit more space to work with, and the other one is for detail. And as you can see, I have to do another coat because the first one was a little bit streaky. If your acrylic paint gets a little too thick, then go ahead and add some water and that should fix the problem. When I detail, I like to go color by color. So I'm going to do whatever on her body is black first. This is her mouth, and as you can tell, it's a little bit messy, but not to worry. Acrylic paint is so easy to fix, as I've said before. And then she has this weird hump kind of shape on her body. I don't know what this is, but it's on her, and I'm just kind of outlining it and trying to figure out exactly where it's placed. As you can see, I left her tail blank because her tail is not blue, it's yellow. So I'm not going to fill it in until I get to the yellow part of her body. Then I'm going to take some light blue and add just a little bit of shading. This is where Dory's eye is eventually going to go. And then this is the bottom of her little fin. And now I'm just going to take with the white paint and draw out her eyeball. This is just a little circle and then you're going to do a little half circle on the other side of her face because you don't fully see the other eyeball. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw her tail and add a little bit of yellow to finish off her fin. And at this point you're probably like, okay, it looks like somebody took a lawnmower to pour Dory's body. Uh, yeah, it does. It does look a little bit uneven, but we are going to fix all of that. And her eyes have a little bit of pink, so that's what I'm doing here, and then just the black eyeball right after that. And the way I fix my detailed work is I hold my finger up directly in front of my face, so that's why you won't be seeing me do it on camera, but I use the same brush and the same paints and just clean up my lines a little bit. Now I'm just outlining her body. I only did a little bit on camera because I told you I do a lot of my detailed work holding my finger right up to my face so it was kind of hard to do it on camera. Now I'm using a toothpick just to clean up my lines a little bit. This is only doable if you had painted the top coat so that's why I had recommended that in the beginning. Then I'm just sealing it up with my HK Girl top coat and that's it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Please tag me on Instagram if you recreate this. If you don't want to draw Dory, it's so easy to just do the background and have a cute little ocean scene on your nails. Thank you guys again and please subscribe on your way out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.